Good evening, I'm Justin Betty. The Fargo Police Oversight Board met tonight at their regularly scheduled monthly meeting, but the situation was far from normal. After a 28 year old Shane Netterfield was shot and killed by an officer last week. Tonight, Fargo Police Chief David Zabalski went over the policies and protocols that come with what he calls critical incidents. Valley News Team's Alex Larson has details. When feasible, okay. Officers should take reasonable steps to move out of the path of an approaching vehicle instead of just charging their firearm at the vehicle or any of its occupants. Chief Sabolski says there's a big difference between placing yourself in front of a vehicle and finding yourself in front of a vehicle. And court documents filed Tuesday say Shane Netterfield drove a van directly towards Fargo officers before being fatally shot. Some on the board say they are worried about how the North Dakota Criminal Investigation Bureau will stay impartial in the case because of the law enforcement brotherhood. But Chief Sabolski says that will not be an issue. I think we're all very hopeful that this is a reasonably quick uh, investigation and determination. And then we go to the next steps. Chief Zabolski, along with Mayor Mahoney, State Attorney General Drew Wrigley, the Deputy Attorney General, and other City of Fargo leaders, met with Netterville's family this week and gave them the chance to ask questions about the investigation directly to Wrigley. It's really a, a short meeting, and I think the Attorney General wanted to reach out to them to let them know that he takes this very seriously, let them know that he's going to do a thorough review of the case. Uh, and I'll come up with the decision. The meeting was not announced until after, but Zabolski says that was for the privacy of the family. The city also has reached out in many different ways to assist the family. Uh, and our Native American Commission is uh, equally involved and concerned with helping them. And you know, I think everyone wants to do whatever they can to assist them. Uh, from that perspective. And he says that officers involved in the incident have been doing as well as can be expected. It's a real tragedy for the family. It's, uh, it's traumatic for the officers involved also. And you know, I'm happy that we've got these psychological services in place and that we've got, I think, more capacity to help them through those issues. In Fargo, Alex Larson, Valley News Live. Chief Zabolski says he didn't want to comment too much about the private meeting with the Netterville family because it's a private matter, but he said the interactions with the family have been good. Though Netterville's brother told us earlier this week the family has been given very little information about the brother's death.